This is the God episode 133 live uh, because yesterday some things came up and I was not able to pre-record today's Closer to God. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment and we ask, Lord, that your blessing be upon us because we are turning back to your holy word and finishing off Acts chapter 18 today in our study. Lord, allow the Holy Spirit to guide us and direct us as we go about the business of understanding you better and drawing closer to you we pray this in jesus name okay so we're going to finish off acts chapter 18 today and we're going to start at verse 24 and this is apollos instructed at ephesus okay boy really uh getting through these names ain't i <laughs> meanwhile a jew named apollos an eloquent speaker who knew the scriptures well had just arrived in ephesus from alexandria in egypt he had been taught the way of the Lord and talked to others with great enthusiasm and accuracy about Jesus. However, he knew only about John's baptism. When Priscilla and Aquila heard him preaching boldly in the synagogue, they took him aside and explained the way of God more accurately. So, here we have a guy that's out there, he's preaching, and he is preaching with accuracy about the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, he might not have it completely down, but he's doing a very good job of it. And notice that when uh, Aquila and Priscilla take him aside, they both let him know uh, some more about the good news of the gospel. They do not take him aside and chastise him and say, brother, you got it all wrong. Uh, you need to stop, but they didn't chastise him or criticize him in any way. Notice instead, they discuss things with him together so that they could all benefit from this discussion together. And see, that's what we need to do with our other brothers and sisters in Christ. We need to learn from one another, especially being grounded in the Word of God. As long as we're grounded in the Word of God, uh, we cannot go wrong, and we need to take the opportunity to learn from one another. We're not trying to outdo each other in our knowledge about the Bible, and we shouldn't be uh, prideful about our knowledge of the good news of the gospel. We need to appreciate everyone who is a part of the body of Christ, because they are brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. Well, some of you may laugh at that and say, well, uh, Pastor, I don't really get along with my brothers and sisters as is. Well... You know, that's something that you need to work on and fix because family is important and family differences need to be settled in an amicable way and a loving way. So that's, you know, if you can't do these things in your own family, you are definitely going to have difficulty doing them within the body of Christ. And so notice they're building up Apollos instead of tearing him down. Uh, they're not coming at him to correct him. They are coming in a loving manner where they can all discuss and learn from one another. And I'm sure there are some things that they learned from Apollos uh, as they were discussing things with him. And see, it's got, a, it's got a mutual benefit about it when we go about the business this way. So uh, this is why we need to encourage one another and lift each other up in the scriptures whenever we have the opportunity to do so. So let's pick it up here at verse 27. Apollos had been thinking about going to Achaia, and the brothers and sisters in Ephesus encouraged him in this. They wrote to the believers in Achaia asking them to welcome him. When he arrived there, he proved to be of great benefit to those who, by God's grace, had believed. He refuted all the Jews with powerful arguments in public debate. Using scriptures, he explained to them, the Messiah you are looking for is Jesus. So you can see now that this discussion between uh, Aquila and Priscilla has empowered him. And then the believers wrote a letter and sent it out ahead of him as he was journeying to Achaia. And when he got to Achaia, you can see he had great success in preaching the gospel there. And even when he was challenged by those who did not believe the gospel who, who or who stood in opposition to Jesus Christ, he was able to stand up to them with scriptures, but in a loving manner, trying to convince those who opposed him 
that Jesus was the Messiah. And notice he didn't uh, chastise them or tear them down or attack them in any way. He tried to convince them of what he knew about Jesus. And that's what we need to do. This is another a reminder to us that we need to extend the invitation of Jesus Christ out to those who do not know him or may have known him and forgotten about him somewhere along the way. We need to extend that invitation out. It's not up to us whether or not they accept the good news of the gospel. That's up between them and God. But we, when we're prompted by the Holy Spirit, need to reach out in love and gentleness and humbleness to them and explain to them what we know about the good news of the gospel and what Jesus has done for us. And that's exactly what Apollos was doing when he met opposition in Achaia. So this is really, really good stuff that we're learning from the book of Acts. And I'm so glad uh, that uh, this is a journey that we're taking together in looking at this book because it has so much to teach to us that's practical and applicable to us today in our faith. So until next time, remember, nothing in this world is more important than the love of Jesus Christ. I'll talk to you soon.